All right. It says I'm live, but I don't see anything. Maybe that's what live looks like. I don't know. Melissa, text me if you can see me. Because I'm looking at what looks like the Jetsons Christmas presents. So I'm going to do little dance moves. Because <laughs> it says I'm live, but I don't know what I'm live on. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Melissa. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like to make up little songs. Oh, my God. Hi, Tom. <laughs> okay, so now you guys know what I do in the car by myself. <laughs> so how about that audio situation that happened? Technology can be trippy. Um, so the best comment that I have is from my friend Sam who said, that was like black hole meets audio meets mushrooms meets pineapple express. So true, Sam. I'm glad you're here to explain things so precisely. Um, oh my gosh, hi. We have two, we have two viewers. I uh, have a new link. I post it on Party Like an Adult if you wanna go there. Is Tom actually on? Tom is watching. Melissa? I can't find the link. Okay, this is the fifth link I sent, but you know, one of these days, I'm gonna I'll send go to the We're right. Send people the right link. And until then, mm. this is what'll happen. We'll be here. I haven't even had a drink yet, you guys. I'm just like sweating <laughs> and watching Jessica struggle. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. I'm just struggling by myself, apparently. That's a really, that would be a really amazing song. <laughs> what, struggling alone? <laughs> struggling by myself. Okay. <laughs> no? You don't like it. No. It feels like a Yeah, there's definitely a delay. But that's okay. I mean, the delay between Katie and I? Yeah. How long was the delay between Katie and I? Dude, I've been standing now for like three hours and my feet are starting to hurt. <laughs> okay, I think it's okay. Just keep. I just can't hear her. You can't hear me. How are we ever going to survive? I can hear you. Okay, no, I can. Great. <laughs> is right up, ladies. <laughs> can we get to drinking? Okay, let's do this. Okay, welcome. To episode one of Party Like an Adult. I don't know why I looked down to see one, but I did. Uh, this is like really kind of like, what is it like alpha or beta? This is beta. Next time it should be like the real deal. Yeah, because we'll, we'll maybe know how to work the technology. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, so I, I have it in my notes to say that we are testing our tech skills since Katie is in an undisclosed location, not with me but you already all know that we're testing our tech skills from the first mishap. So, hi. Hi. All right. Hello. We I'm in a basement. <laughs> You'll never know. Okay. I can't even speak, undisclosed location. I'm also in a basement for the record. <laughs> it's true. Oh my God, maybe we maybe that's part of partying like an adult. I thought that was part of partying like a 13 year old. Yeah, <laughs> like, I think partying like an adult involves hiding from your children in basements. So <laughs> right here, my pitter patter of my children are upstairs. So, okay, let's talk about booze and let's get to drinking. <laughs> Chianti's, we're gonna do three Chianti's. I am going to taste this uh, Rafino. Um, I'm gonna taste this Rafino. She's also gonna taste that. And then I'm gonna taste this Piccini uh, Chianti, and Katie is going to taste a Bonfi Chianti Classico. Okay, let's do it. All right, so I did a little research okay. about wine glasses. Oh, I already opened my wine, so I'll pour for you guys. And this is actually, I thought this was, I've been spending my life thinking that this is like a white wine glass, this narrowness, uh, don't mind the fingerprints. And 
apparently this is like the appropriate kind of wine glass for this wine because things that are spicier red wines are supposed to be like a little bit more close. I guess this is a closed glass. It's also stemless it's because I'm in a basement working on a cardboard stand-up desk, serving myself drinks off of, <laughs> off of a high chair. <laughs> Too much information. Like an adult. <laughs> you guys, I don't even have children. Nobody in this house has children. I don't know where this thing came from, but <laughs> the so gods clearly it. sent it so that I would have a table that was the appropriate size for my wine tasting basement experience. Okay, this is the Rufino. This is the Rufino. I'm gonna do some notes on the Rufino. So, Chianti in general is probably the most recognized of Italian wines. It's from the Chianti region. Um, different from California, where California has the actual grape as the name, the Chianti is the region that they call the wine that it's based on. Words. Words. <laughs> um, so these are both mostly Sangiovese, Sangiovese uh, grape. I think it's Sangiovese. With some other stuff mixed in. So let's both try the- uh, Other stuff being, it's usually um, also like Merlot and- Little Cab, Little Merlot, Little Multipichuliciano. A Little Merlot. <laughs> This is the only way that we're allowed to drink Merlot. <laughs> okay. Well, the tasting notes are ruby red color in the glass. True story. Um, bouquet of violet, cherry, and plum. You know what I smell again? This is terrible. So Jessica and I did some wine tasting last week. And after episode alpha of play, and I had a dirty glass, like sponge, <laughs> sponge glass, you know what I mean? When it smells like your sponge has been around for too long and then you clean the glass with it. And that's what my wine smelled like. Well, my, my disgorged <laughs> <laughs> champagne. And that's what this smells like, dirty sponge. <laughs> I smell the. I do I definitely smell more of the plum. I, I do smell like a sweeter flavor. Although maybe your cup is still having problems. Fortunately, unfortunately, I'm not there tonight to change glasses with you. I know Jessica saved me from my sponge glass because that's like the most offensive smell in the world to me. Note, it's not keeping me from drinking my wine, but it's really killing the nose on it. Woo! That's like spicy. Sour. I feel like it's sourish. Yeah, your glass is the wrong kind of glass. <laughs> need more air. <laughs> All right, glasses. I have other glasses. We're, if we're gonna try different glasses, I have a little tiny glass, which feels more like what I would drink if I was in France, right? I think it's the, the one, the taller one is what oh, you're well, but I feel like I haven't been to Italy. Yeah. Just yeah. saying. They use those little, well, they use the little, little square thing. The little, like, little like working oh, glass. Thing. Okay. Let's try it. Maybe I'm drinking the wrong one right now. Okay, so it tastes like sweaty to me. Is that a word that you're allowed to use to describe wine? I think so. Like it's definitely makes my mouth water a lot. That doesn't happen with all wine. Um, let's see, hold on. Could be the oh, my children are watching. Hi kids. Hello babies. Watch mommy drink. <laughs> um, I don't, no, really, I don't like this at all, honestly. Like it's I don't really either. Kind of sour. It doesn't have a lot of grapey flavor to it. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's move on to the next one. And it just seems like it's gonna give me heartburn like instantly. That's what I have to say about this. Definitely <laughs> instant. Like, definitely like two in the morning, right? Okay. Moving on. Okay. Like, you, I'm gonna taste the Pacini. You don't have this, so let me go and then. Okay. This is so. This is actually a seventeen to twenty-five dollar bottle of wine, and this is under ten. So let's see if it's any better. Oh, mind you, this was actually a twenty-one ninety-nine dollar bottle for me. Got so it. your seventeen dollar bottle. Seventeen to twenty-five. Oh, okay, gotcha. Right in the middle. Sorry. 
Okay. So this other one smells better. I feel like it smells more fruity than this one. Wasn't that one? <laughs> that was like his favorite. Oh yeah, Tom said he really liked this Pacini wine. He's yeah. It's definitely a better flavor. It's not so aggressive. What does it say? It says grippy tannins, well rounded. It's very well rounded. Nice pizza and pasta wine, everyday wine. I could definitely drink, eat this with some pizza. Wish I had some. I don't. All right, Miss Katie, go on with your Bonfi. Okay, so the Bonfi is supposed to have a ruby red color. I feel like that's darker than ruby, but you know, tomato, tomato. I like it. So the glass still, it smells better than the last one. It doesn't really have much to do with the wine. Um, it's definitely like more of a tannic, like tannin rich, I guess, high acidity wine, which I don't think is, those are, those are two, um, two characteristics of red wine that I, I don't ever look for. I'm going to say, <laughs> you know, it's interesting with Chianti. It's like, it's definitely feels like it's very hit or miss. I have had some amazing glasses of Chianti and I've had a lot of duds. Yeah. Like both of these are on the duddy side, but, um, this is better. The Bonfi is better. It's definitely more drinkable. It, it, for me, I am like a drinkability person. <laughs> I'm not looking for refined characteristics. I'm really looking for like easy to drink. Um, and this one, second one is easier to drink, but also it does have the advantage of being the second. So I think where like the first sometimes can be a little bit more of like, uh, it can be a more abrasive experience. You haven't been drinking wine. Just my personal opinion. Okay, let's like well, move on. Let's go back to these at the end to see if they've gotten any better as they've sat and chilled with us because yeah. things get better when they sit and chill with us. Yeah. Every everything gets better when it sits and chills with us. Okay. okay, McCarthy, you do the drinks. I will follow to your lead and I will make the same thing here. But you're going to follow instructions. I love it when you follow my instructions. Okay. Oh, damn. Follow um, the instructions, really, but okay. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to be trying right now is the Corpse Reviver 2, so a second version rendition. Um, this is part of the class of Corp Corpse Reviver cocktails <laughs> for its ability to bring people back from the dead or at least hungover people back from painful hangovers. Um, so, it was a popular during the 1930s and then kind of fell off the map. And with the hipsters came the hipster drinks, the revival cocktails, and the corpse reviver. So, I'm going to be using, you know, if you don't have a shaker at home, you can always use your handy Starbucks <laughs> tin. Um, so, and if you don't have a martini glass, <laughs> you could always use this glass. Which I guess is a wine glass that I would never use for wine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, um, you should chill your martini glass. I'm not going to because I don't have those means. Uh, there are five ingredients. Crap. I forgot my lemon. Should I get it or should I not? Keep going. Okay, great. We're going to have this without lemon. I'm going to tell you right now it would be significantly better with it. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. So. No, here, I got one for you. Here. <laughs> Just throw it through. <laughs> no? It didn't work. Okay. Um, so here I, mean, I, I have my computer, but it would have like toppled over. So, <laughs> so we're going to take absinthe. So this is absinthe. This is St. George's absinthe. Um, St. George is like an amazing hipster. <laughs> um, uh, distillery of spirits. They make, um, they started, I think, with like Hanger One Vodka, I think was the first thing that they made. So I'm going to take this absinthe, obviously, no wormwood. We can't get the wormwood, that we can't get the good stuff in the U.S. Just as yours have wormwood? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Ours is from Argentina. So jelly. Okay. Well, I'll just have to be jealous. That's fine. It happens all day, every day. So <laughs> I'm well versed. Um, so you take that, you swirl, we're going to coat this is what we're going to do. And then we're going to... I drank mine. I mean, why waste it, right? I mean, that's... Where are you going to pour it anyway? Yeah, I, I, hate licorice, you guys. I know. It's a little bit like, whoop! I just... I've been already halfway there. 
Okay, so I can't see what you're doing because I'm like reading stuff right now. So just take your time, Jessica. So I'm gonna use my shot glass. I'm gonna do one ounce of Cointreau right in there. I'm gonna take my Lillet, my untapped Lillet. Lillet White. There's Lillet. Lillet? Mm -hmm. That's what Melissa says. That's what my coach over here is saying to me. Okay, coach says Lillet. I believe you. You are more French than I. I don't, think, that's, I don't really think that's true, but. <laughs> I don't know. Russian. Guys, I really want to go get a lemon. Okay, and then gin. So, like week two of the gin cocktails. Yeah, we got nine. We got nine coming up. We're doing nine cocktail, nine gin cocktails in a row. What? We crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to. Lemon juice that I got. Yeah, put your lemon juice in. You also want an ounce of lemon juice, so mine's going to taste like way different. My butt didn't shake because I clenched my butt cheeks really hard that time, you guys. I don't know why. And now I'm going to strain it into this here glass. You would, yours would be like, yours is probably yellow or milkier looking than mine. And then we would put a cherry. Jessica probably has super swanky cherries. I am down in a basement with none. So story. now we're going to try this. Cherry. Oh my God. Those are the best cherries. I only have maraschino cherries. Don't eat those. They'll stay in your stomach for a lifetime. That's what wives tales say. Oh, well, that's true. Listen to your local wives tale seller. Like, isn't that like growing a watermelon because you've swallowed watermelon seed? Okay, <laughs> husband's gonna join us while we taste our cocktails. Oh my Mr. God, Mr. Happy Mr. Tom. Make it Come on, on crop, Mr. Kirkwoods. Nice. He's gonna do the beer edition next, but let's start and we'll have our drinks. And um... so I have to say that this smells citrusy, even though it has no citrus in it. I mean, it's supposed to, but. <laughs> Good. Are you revived? <laughs> wow, that's great. It's actually quite uh, so easy. Rejuvenating. You know, like I don't like bubbles, which you all don't know fully yet, but um, this is like a. Tell them why. Tell them why, Jessica. No, this is a nice <laughs> gin drink without bubbles. Hey, like, we need somebody who knows some more stuff about Lillette. I mean, again, we're with the aperitif, but this is an aperitif wine. But it's it's good. It's really it's. I don't understand what's happening in here, but it's great. <laughs> All right, let's go to the beers. All right, so the beers that we're doing tonight are the Dogfish Head sixty minute and the Lagunitas IPA. All right, now these are both considered American IPAs, and uh, Dogfish Head is like a first wave IPA. And Lagunitas is considered second. And they, you know, they're, this is brewed on the East Coast and it's available only on the East Coast. Um, and then this is now the Lagunitas is, has been recently bought by Heineken. So they're, they're pretty much available everywhere. I have not, you know, this most reliable IPA to find just about anywhere. So. Can, did you guys know the um, the birthplace of Dogfish Head? You should know because it's, it's the birthplace of this girl. Yes. Delaware, what? All right, so pouring here. This is a Dogfish Head. Did for the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> Why waste good it? beer in a bottle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, it's been, we've been working really hard lately, getting ready and prepping for the show. There's been a lot of like drinking two bottles of wine. You have to like taste one against the other and full of beers, one against the other. And... So again, you know, this is, uh, we're going to start off with the Dogfish Head, which is a great beer and I drink frequently. <laughs> <laughs> High test. It's good. It's fruity. The hops aren't that really that strong for an IPA. No, it's not actually. This is six percent alcohol by volume. Yes. Yeah, it's not too hoppy. And the Lagunitas is six point two. Yeah. If you guys are interested. 
And then, you know, so the, the, the history of the, inter, the India Pale Ale is that it, it really was developed originally in England for export to India. And it was slightly more alcoholic and used a lot of hops to be able to survive the journey. It also had very little sugar in it, so it couldn't rot, you know, during the trip. The um, Lagunitas is like significant, it has a higher IBU. Yeah. International bitterness units. Isn't that what that stands for? It does. See, I think it's 40, 40 some and 62. It's also like much more bubbly. I mean, I don't even really see that, but like this is so much more bubbly than this one. Hmm. This one's clearer than the dark fish head. It's a little more murky. Yes. You know, and if, they, if you check out how these are rated, I, well, I'm not going to say that right now, but, uh, you know, so do you guys want to say what you prefer? Because you're neither of you are particularly IPA fans. No, I'm like, I didn't even tell you guys. I didn't go my IPA rant, but these are actually not offending me right now. I like the dogfish head better. And no, it's not just because it's from Delaware and I'm from Delaware. It is less bitter, which is usually yeah. my beef with the IPAs is that they are so bitter. I'm going to agree. I, I would say the same exact reason that Laguna is kind of like bitter. It doesn't have like as much other flavor outside of kind of that like hops beer flavor. Yeah. Whereas like the dogfish head's like more well-rounded. And the truth is I probably buy the dogfish head way more often than the Laguna But you know, the Laguna is available in more places. So I probably end up drinking more Laguna <laughs> Right. True. Yeah. And I do prefer the dogfish hat. Oh, nice. Well, so that's the beer. Take your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Tom. Coming and doing our IPA Wait, session. I'm about to go pass my beers off to someone, too. But before that, I'm going to drink this. This Corpse Reviver number two is Amazeballs. Oh, here you go. Uh-oh, Melissa's taking Tom's. There's going to be a fight. It's going to be so much better when I put lemon in it. Can you really use the lemon a lot? You're not even listening to me. We're on a, we're on a show together and you are not paying attention. Listening is all about you, Katie. Is it? No, but can you really taste what it? What is like most of the time. Tell me more, Katie. <laughs> so mean. Um, but no, can you really taste the lemon? Uh, the lemon is delicious. This is a delicious okay. drink. I was very excited. We almost pulled this drink and did something simpler tonight, like a gin and tonic, because it would have been easier to not do all these ingredients. But I'm really glad we stuck with it, because it's a delicious gin beverage. I drink it for sure. You can't really taste the gin. Which gin were you using? We used Bombay Sapphire. OK, I used regular Bombay. This is Sapphire, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, let's go back to the wines. Let's see if they've gotten any better because they were pretty sad the first round. Okay. Which one do we want to do? Like the one we liked the least or the one we liked the most best first? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Well, as long as there's a winner. Okay. I just said the Rufino has gotten better with some air. It's still not great, but it's not as bad as it was. It's still Garbaggio in my opinion. Isn't it better? Mm. It's less offensive. And I'm, I'm not calling that better. <laughs> it's, just, it's more Pence than Trump. So. Yeah. It sucks less. <laughs> mm. Yeah, for me, the Pacini definitely won. Okay, the Bon Fee one for me. Yeah, this definitely one. It's like seven a six, seven dollar bottle of wine. It's 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 good. It's it's not great. It's very it is dry. It says dry wet red wine. I see that on the back right now, and it is dry. It's not sweet, it's not, you know, fruity and big and all those things. I don't know. Maybe it's big. I don't really know what big actually means. But. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of this because it's not like big and exciting, and it's also not incredibly drinkable. So basically, I think maybe maybe it's a food wine. Maybe it yeah. like this really is a pizza wine. You can drink pizza like at, like pizza night. Like you know, you get some good pizza or some decent pizza or some DiGiorno, whatever. I like it all. Um, drink it with that. 
Drink it with your DiGiorno. <laughs> oh my God. And on that note, I mean, is there anything more to say? Well, let's talk about next week's show. Um, I'm going to Puerto Rico on Saturday. So next week we are going to do, uh, we're going to get off gin for just one week. We're going to do one skip because we're going to make a rum chata with homemade horchata sauce strength stuff. I don't know. It's going to be delicious. You're making I'm gonna homemade horchata? Yeah. You got to come over. To Puerto Rico? No, I'm going to be here. Oh. Be back. I thought you were inviting me to Puerto Rico next week. I was excited. I will be back from Puerto Rico Wednesday night. Okay. So we're going to do two under $10 Sauvignon Blancs, the rum cocktail, and then we're going to do two seasonal beers, which we're not totally sure what they are yet, but they're going to be fun and seasonal. And what we would love to know from you guys is like, what do you want to know about these things? Huh? And, and I need a cocktail jingle. So I would like suggestions on like, when we say it's cocktail time, like I want like a thing, some, some sort of transition. Can we have like a theme, like a theme, like a Mr. Hanky? Can we have like, we need like a mascot? I don't know. I don't think we should have a mascot. <laughs> I think it's happening. I don't know. It's not yet. Too soon. I have this little duck right here. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> out. No. He He's off the show. I've got, I got, got yeah. another, but I've got another one right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do have this guy. Hold on. Let's pull out Tom's mm -hmm. like little dude. Hopefully, he won't lose body parts. Oh, oh he's no already head. He is missing his head already. <laughs> but let me get his head. Whoa, that's cool. He's really cool. Tom made it. Oh, here's his head. I found it. I found his head. Oh, you're so creative. Now he is. Tom's gone. He if you guys want to buy one of these headless men from Tom, it's going to be 17. He's got a head. He's got a head. 75 cents. I'm just saying, he could be our like mascot. You know, we could put him like around a wine. Hey, look, this is the winner. He's going to hump it. Make wine babies okay cool oh we're, we're done we're getting we're getting wound down we're getting wound down the wound down music is coming on i know that's like the like where's the cane to pull us off <laughs> okay. all right well until okay. next week come drink with us we'll miss you Good work. Little, 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 little. bye